Good morning. I told y'all in the last vlog that I was gonna be coming back with no lashes and my natural hair. I was not lying. It felt so good to wash my face when I went to sleep last night. It's probably like an hour after I ended that last video before I was like, took them a little off, okay? But washing my face last night, moisturizing my, this morning, it felt amazing. But why did nobody tell me that the oil comes after the moisturizer? Girl. Yes, Malia. Give me your cup. Right, I'm back. The child wants everything but her toys. So, um, this morning I was like, it's gonna be a productive day. I'm gonna get up. All right, y'all. So what I was trying to say for the 15th time now is I got up early this morning and got myself together thinking I was gonna come downstairs and get like a, like at least two hours of solid interrupted work time before Bean got up. My entire family was down here in this kitchen making every noise known to man between the ice maker, people dropping stuff, people talking loud. And then it was like a loud bang and I was like, and then I hear tiny little footsteps running towards the gate upstairs and it's Malia. She's sitting here looking at me like, Mama, what's like, Mama? But you're the most precious baby ever, and I love you with all my heart, you know that? Hmm? But I'm about to get some more work done, and then I'm gonna show y'all, because I think that Amazon package over there is our faucets. For the bathroom. See you in a bit. husband is off his calls i did a little bit more work being asleep so mama is headed to the nail salon i'm excited so i'm going to not my normal nail salon this is a nail salon like i used to go to and they did like a really sucky job so i stopped going um but i have a nail appointment at the place that i actually do go to but it's further away in this that's the only, that's the earliest appointment they had for the nail tech that i wanted so i honestly and truly just need these soaked off and my nails completely cut down. I think I'm just gonna do um, red gel polish. And then next week I'm gonna try gel X. I think I told y'all that in the last vlog. Hold on real quick. Okay. So, um, some light going in here, y'all. So I was supposed to go to Target to return them little bitty behind lights that I called myself getting to go around my reefs. It's, I know it's reef, but I said reefs, okay? That's how I pronounce it. Was it that so I am um, literally going over here on like on a is it a whim? What is it, girl? I don't have an appointment, so hopefully they can get me in. Like I don't know what else everybody else got going on to where the nail salon gonna be full. You know, doggone eleven twenty. Anyways, I'm like mad at myself because I'm like, dang, it was other stuff on my Christmas list that I needed to get. And Cyber Monday is over with, Black Friday is over with, but at the same time, how many of us went to sleep last night to an email that said, like, Cyber Monday sale ends tonight, you better hurry up, and then you wake up to the same email that says, surprise, Cyber Monday sale extended. So it's almost like, is it really the end? Like, they're gonna run sales again. I get so sick of all of these emails. Last chance. No, it's not. No, it's not. Quit lying. My level of annoyance with this lady. Okay, so 
this is my nails i just got my, all my nails cut off like i told y'all and i just got red so i was like can you file them more they're like sh shaggy like they're getting caught she was like it's because your nail is thin girl the thickness of my nail don't have jack squat to do with the fact that you suck at filing my nails like let me see if i can show y'all I don't even think y'all can see that. Look at this shit. Look at It's clearly it hasn't been filed all the way down. Like it's it's jagged. I really wish y'all could see this. Can y'all see the tip of that? Girl. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. I gotta go home and find my own goddamn nails. This is why I don't come to this freaking nail salon anymore because they suck ass. Bottom line, that's all it is to it. It is literally all it is to it. It's because your nail, you see my nail. I don't care. I don't care that I've been wearing S and S. File my nails properly. That's the reason why I told you to cut them down shorter than this. You insisted that I keep a little bit of length on there. She better be glad I have a nail appointment come Tuesday. Otherwise, I would have went off. And then we get to the register. Tip. Ma'am. Then, did I mention to y'all that when I got there, she was like, did you pick your color? Mind you, this is not someone I've ever had do my nails at this particular nail salon before. So, that's number one. Like, normally, I'm very particular about who I let do my nails. But I was like, whatever. I'm just getting jailed. I don't care who do my nails. Boy, was that the dumbest decision ever. So, I basically was like, um, she said, did you pick your color? I was like, I just want apple red. Big apple red or whatever the color is. And she was like, um, okay, can you just look over here where all our colors are? Because I don't know what that is. here i just told you what color it was go find it and i'm not trying to be like uppity or anything at all but since when you told them what color you want and they tell you to go find it so the reception is at the front she was like did you say you want apple red i was like yes she was like here it is it's in jail right i was like yes she was like okay here it is i was like thank you because i'm over there looking through the basket like you literally want me to look through all of these samples to say here this is an apple red and you still got to go get it like i said you don't before the receptionist came over there i said you don't just have opi big apple red like or apple red whatever the color is and she was just looking at me like i was stupid and i was like where they do this at what is this like why and then you come do this sh Ooh. You do not ever get over in front of a transfer truck like that. Jesus Christ. And then you do this shitty job on my nails. Like, I know that once you apply gel polish, like, you're not supposed to file your nails that much because then it can end up filing, like, the top coat off and then it just ends up messing up your nails. But girl, file me the F down because this ain't gonna work. It's gonna get shagged on my shirt. It's gonna hurt bean skin. It's gonna get caught on my head scarf. I'm like, what the? F PG 13. I ain't even gonna cuss on y'all. But my level of annoyance is at an all time high. And it just reminded me, my whole soul was irritated. Then the heifer had the nerve to be hitting my nail bed. And she was like, she pulled out her little pliers like she was finna pop the gel, uh, the SNS off my nails. I said, what are you doing? She was like, you you basically telling me I was acting like it was hurting whenever she's following my nails. I was like, well, you know, pipe down. Stop following my nail beds and I won't be trying to pull my hands away from you. But what you're not going to do is mess up my nails by trying to pop them off with a goddamn nail thing. Girl, 10 out of 10 would not recommend ever. This is why I will go 35 to 45, 40 minutes out of the way to go get my nails done. And we'll be doing the next week because this did right huh can y'all see that i need y'all to feel my pain i could slice a whip into my freaking face with how shaggy these nails are it's a cute color 
I can type with these. I feel a little bit free with my nails not being so long. But run me my nails. Run me a proper. Then you got the nerve to ask me if I want a manicure. And then 30 minutes later, how you ask me if I want I about down as well? If you can't do my nail, what make you think I'm gonna let you do my eyebrows too? Do you mistake me for Apple? Miss me. I just got to Lowe's. This is the coolest thing ever. They have like these little locker things. So you just scan it. Y'all probably already seen this before, but you just scan it and the locker pops open. So we're about to go do that. I gotta find my, what's the name? Hold on. Somebody's gonna look at me like I'm stupid. All right, I want y'all to see this. All right, so look, you just go here to pick up. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the barcode? Oh. show you what happens <gasps> you see that so neat these are so cute why are these fifty dollars though these real tiny Christmas trees. I kind of like these. And they have small ones too. I'm not paying fifty dollars for that. Anyways, let's go. All right, I'm home. So I have some packages to show y'all. Well, the faucet, and then I got um. I'm gonna make one. I'm about to make me two fried egg sandwiches on English muffins because I'm hungry. And this week we're not eating meat. Well, we're not eating meat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And on Friday we're doing salmon bowls. So yesterday we had, is it pahat me? Whatever, the good rice. Um, that being like, if you ever had kava before, it's that rice. So we had rice with roasted cauliflower, tossed in sweet and sour sauce. It was so good. Oh my gosh, it tasted heavenly. And then today we're having veggie quesadillas. It's gonna have onions, bell peppers, flat beans, cheese, obviously, and corn. And we got some rice left over, so I might, you know, toss it in some bowl, sauce or something, eat that. And then tomorrow we're having veggie pasta. So it's like Alfredo pasta, but we're gonna add spinach in it and then broccoli is gonna be the side. And then Thursday, Leftovers, because Kenzie has a game, so we need to make sure we make enough. And then Friday is the salmon bowl. So with salmon bowls, we do, it's like sushi, but our salmon is cooked, obviously. Rice, cucumber, shredded carrots, avocado, seaweed wraps, which I need to go get. And it's heat. I need to see if the gate closed upstairs. Why is Bean still taking her nap? Granted, she fell asleep at like 10 something. So that means she's gonna be good and rested. So when she wakes up, she's gonna be up until it's time to go to sleep. I pray to God she gotta sleep at eight o'clock tonight. I was gonna do some avocado, but also I'm like doing all of that. Or do I? I don't know, I feel like I need some vegetables. But I've been drinking my water and mind my goddamn business. All right, so as I finish kicking this, I'm gonna show y'all some stuff. I can't help but do that little hip thing. And then I need to file my nails.
Okay. So, I took a longer break than I thought I was going to. But I'm going to show y'all this necklace. Y'all know I was telling you, girl, if you don't put this apple back on this plate. She done took her clothes off. Listen, you can choose your battles. That is not one of them. So, um, anyways, like I was saying, I um, got... We might stuck in Oh, it's 30 minutes left of the work day, child. 30 minutes from home stretch. But remember I was showing y'all my name necklace. I don't have it on right now. I have on this necklace from Target, but my name necklace from Julia Jewelry. And I wanted this evil eye. Well, I got it. I'm unboxing it with y'all. This is what their packaging looks like. And like I told y'all last time they come with little gift boxes. So that's especially helpful right now during the holiday season. Isn't that so cute? It's like a little gift bag so you don't have to worry about putting it in anything. Um, but it's especially helpful right now during the holiday season. Um, and they have sales going on right now. So... This is the also a jewelry box, so you can just plot that bad boy up and go like that. That was good too. And then it also has like a little thing where you can write a little greeting card. Look at that. Good to go. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. One thing I did not notice about this, um, Evil eye necklace is I thought that it actually just had like a standard colored stone on the inside of it or like gem. I don't know exactly what it is on the inside of it, but you actually are able to get your birthstone. So my birthday is in December. I am a Capricorn. This is so cute. Oh, it's so cute, and it's so like it's like a cute little dainty necklace. So, hold on, y'all. We're gonna get this to focus this time. Y'all see that? It's a cute little dainty necklace. I love this. This is gonna be perfect for like layering. So, I don't remember the exact color of my birthstone. I just know it's blue. So, I'm gonna put this on right now. Yes, ma'am. Girl, you can't be showing yourself on camera like this. This even looks cute with the necklace that I have on right now. So I love that because it's going to be really good for like layering. If you have like multiple necklaces, I can even wear this with my name necklace. But I think it looks really good with this. Just like a cute little... Y'all, my neck is not discolored. It's a little greasy, but I have a huge birthmark on my neck. It's it's huge. Like if you know nobody, you think my neck is dirty, but it's not. But anyways, yeah, I like this. This is really cute. So make sure y'all check out the link in the description box. I will also have a direct link to this particular necklace and my name necklace. And then further down, I always have like sponsorships and codes, so it's always down there as well. So yeah. This is so cute. All right, downstairs. So I don't know if y'all remember, probably not, but Maddie's birthday is next week. So we're celebrating her birthday this weekend. She, listen, I had already said, I said after fifth birthday parties, which obviously was three years ago for her and 11, six years ago for Kenzie, that I was not doing any more birthday parties. Normally we do a huge birthday party. We always have it at the house and we friends, family, easily 50 people at the house and I just wanted to stop doing that because it's time consuming planning everything out and the money and just everything else that goes along with it so I said no more birthday parties and yet and still here we are so anyways we're just doing like a little slumber party this weekend Maddie has gotten to where she plans her own birthdays y'all remember last year we did a tea party it was so cute it was like a winter winterland type tea party she only invited I don't know it was more kids than I cared to have in my house but anyways she wanted to do like Christmas theme. She told me to, she literally found these on Amazon, sent me the link and was like, order these. You gonna smash your finger in that. That's enough of that. Um, so I ordered these off of Amazon. I think it was like $8 for eight of them. Yeah, for eight of them. So we're gonna do popcorn. We're gonna make homemade pizza. We're going to um, do cookie decorating. They had these little tin cans. Y'all remember when I was younger? And your grandma used to have a tin can that was like 
They have like flowers on the outside of it. But then you always get hat or no, it was cookies on the outside or something. But you would open it up and you would think you were gonna get cookies, but it was like sewing kit. Because everybody ate the cookies and the cookies used to come in those little white things. I gotta see if I can find one of those. That's so nostalgic. Anyways, they have these Christmas themed ones. No, you don't. They have these Christmas themed ones at Target. And I was gonna um, go buy some of those. So when they did their cookie decorating, they can store them in there and they can take them home with them. And then we also, um, what was the other thing we are gonna do? I don't remember. But I also got, I also got these. She wanted to have Santa hats so they could wear those um, during the little sleepover. Only one friend is doing a sleepover, is sleeping over. Um, the other one is getting picked up after we do the festivities. I'm also gonna take them and get their nails done. And then I think Mackenzie is gonna have a couple of her friends over. But anyway, these are like, they're on sale for $3.50, regular $5 at Target. I got six of them, so whatever ones I don't use, I don't care how much they cost, I'm taking them back. And then I just went to Lowe's, y'all seen, and got these. So we're gonna put these on the, um, the, um, what you call it? The reefs and my husband has one more thing, one more column to, to do over here. So anyways, we're about to open this box from Amazon. I need some chapstick. What's up, Leah V? All right, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna show you all the stuff from Zara first. I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna open it and show you the stuff that I got my kids. I'm, there's a dress that I got for myself during the sale. Yeah. That I want to show y'all. And I want to see it myself. Look at there, it's on the top. What was that? I thought somebody was trying to come see. So, so ooh, she's cute. My husband's taking me on a date this month or in December. It's 31 days of Janae. That's what it's called. <laughs> Look at this. The back of it is out. I think this was on sale for $17, $17.99, and it's regular 35, so it's like 50% off. Even the regular price is good. And then it ties some kind of way in the back. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. It's got a mock neck, it's rib material, as you can see. It's a little midi number. Of course, on my short behind, it goes to my knees, so I probably ain't gonna be able to walk. I mean, it goes to my ankles, so I probably ain't gonna be able to walk. But I'll just be cute. Even with my little shimmery boots and my little Alexander Wang dupe. You know, some bones straight here. With a little blessed down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with my fake lashes and some makeup. Watch me not go anywhere. I just like buying stuff. This is really good quality too, but sales probably over, so it defeats the purpose. Anyways, moving right along to these here. Faucets. Okay. All right. Come up with a creative name for me to call my celebrating my birthday month. All right. Oops. Here are the faucets. This is very uneventful. I mean, it's a, it's a goddamn faucet. We just trying to see the the matte blackness. Anytime I order something matte black, I'm me trying to see like how matte is it. You know what I'm saying? There goes the scissors. All right, let's see. Sorry for the shakiness. Girl. What is all of this? What is this? This is too much. Oh, baby, she's mad. She's my, it smells like plumber stuff and hardware. I don't like the smell of this. But yeah, this literally looks just like the ones we have. I don't know how to tell if everything is in the box. So we'll just wait and see. Luckily it came from Amazon. So if it's not, we'll send it right on back. So I guess we will um, do these at some point. I don't know when. All right, y'all pray for me as I attempt to put this on here. Well, it's already hanging up, okay. So I have these battery operated ones that are on there right now. If you, 
It's all you got. Roll with it. But wouldn't recommend because this is how, can y'all see that? Probably not. They're very faint. So I feel like the top half of our house is faintly lit while the bottom half is lit. Okay. So I probably need to just remove them, do it proper, and then hang them back up. But I'm lazy. So no, I'm going to remove each of them. All right. So I stopped being lazy and decided to take the whole thing off. It's like, cut the shit. All right. So I gotta remove. I literally just threw this one on here, anyways. I don't remember how much these little things cost. I don't think they were super expensive, but I was trying to do something, you know battery operated so that I could I didn't have to worry about plugging these in but yeah not the way to go these also have a timer on them so they're really good if you're not concerned about like your lights matching like the brightness of your lights matching but they they're just very uneventful in my opinion but we use these all last year same batteries and they still work this year because if you press it one time it double blinks and it sets it up on a timer so they turn off after so many hours i don't remember how many hours but i just dropped being our battery's about to die. Wow. Bye. 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 Right, guys, it's dinner time. My battery's dying. Can you go give me my other battery? Please hold. All right, it's dinner time. I'm making veggie quesadillas. It's a lot of onions. Put their veggies, right? This is how you do it. So I'm doing these bell peppers and onions and I'm gonna put, I'm not putting a lot of bell peppers because my husband really don't like bell peppers like that. And then I am going to add the green beans, not green beans, the black beans. And um, what you call it? Rotel. It's going to be very flavorful. I know I'm cooking this in the artist pot, but I'm trying not to use a lot of dishes so they will react if we were in our home. No! Go stop her. It's a good time, so long. So once my bell peppers and onions get down, I'm gonna add some rotel, and then I'm going to add my black beans. And then we're gonna build our quesadillas. And put them in the, what, how do you do your quesadillas? In the oven or on the stove? Well, okay. All right, so why, while all this doing all, doing what it do, doing what it, 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 doing
and see if we like them. Cause if we don't, where they going? That target. Why does it seem so dark in here? Mm. Oh, there it is. All right. My necklace has got tangled, so it's not a good idea for me to put this on with this one because I don't want to break it. But I do love how they look together. Y'all see that? Do they have a lights on it? No. Yeah, they're just like little potted trees. But I don't know. I feel like we got too much outside already, you know? Oh. Move out my way. Because I need this box. I wouldn't be mad if I didn't see another tree until next year. Oh, shoot. Now I'm going to break my west time. I'll sit it out there and see what it looks like. But I need to finish cooking my food. Talk to y'all. I know what I meant to ask y'all. Did y'all see that video that's going around that tells you how to silence your microwave? Mind blown. Oh my gosh. My microwave does not beat when I press the buttons, nor does it beat whenever the food's finished. It just says fin across the screen. Girl, I was like, no way. I have a whirlpool and I had to press, I think it was the number one. You have to make sure that the door is open whenever you press the number one because I was in there holding it for literally 30 seconds and nothing was happening. So I was like, let me try opening the door. And girl, it worked. Us, you know, if you know, you know. Some black folks will run to that microwave and open the door or press cancel before it says, dee, dee, dee. I hate that sound. Now it's just pure bliss. Anyways. Our lights outside are finished. I'm gonna take y'all out there when it gets a little bit darker so y'all can see what it looks like. So anyways, I just had to come ask y'all that. I'm gonna let y'all see it because Maddie don't like quesadillas so she gonna eat some noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all. It's got two minutes and 30 seconds left. Please hold. Period. This is what the reefs look like. They're very much bright now. And then here's a look at how we did the red one. So he just wrapped it around each column, trying not to show too much. This is what this looks like over here. And then we have Mr. Snowman right there. He wrapped it over there as well. And then this is what we did to the door. It called. Happy to. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> so it's funny because I dressed me in being a light. It wasn't intentional, but I have on this uh, ribbed mock shirt thing from. American Eagle, and then some sweatpants from H&M. Girl, get out my refrigerator. So I was about to put this ribbed H&M set on her, and I remembered that I bought her some black sweatpants. So it's like, we can be 20. <laughs> so extra. Hold on real quick. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm not planning. Hmm? You want more oatmeal? So I've literally been talking this entire time and I was never recording. So
So I'm thinking being oatmeal. So every time their Gigi comes over, she brings a big tub of oatmeal that her husband makes, their papa makes, because Maddie loves his oatmeal and now being with it. Girl, get out of the trash can. And she's killing this oatmeal. But anyways, what I was thought I was telling y'all was that um was that I don't plan on vlogging all day today because I'm trying to get back to how I was with vlogging up until the day before or like the morning of the day that the vlog goes up because I like it to be like recent, not like weeks weeks ago. But anyways, um because right now I be vlogging up until it's time for the video to go live, which is stupid. So yay. Um so why can't I think? Oh yeah, so I started editing this video yesterday. And it's already, I think it's long. I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to make myself some breakfast. So I'm eating this dairy-free strawberry yogurt. I'm making myself another fried egg on an English muffin with sliced avocado. One of y'all told me to use, do avocado sauce with English muffin. But my avocado is, wasn't super ripe, so I just sliced it and ate it on top. It was good, it tasted healthy, but it was still good. Very flavorful, seasoned very well. So I'm gonna make that and then have a banana on the side. I've been doing good with my veggie only, not snacking a whole lot. I had some hot chips the other day, but it's okay. And drinking water. So my water, I'm gonna put lime in it. Hold on. All right, I gotta find this little girl some water. This little girl. So I'm trying to only drink water and then in the morning sometimes I can have coffee or tea. Thank you, water. Say thank you. She ain't sent me. All right, I'm about to make my breakfast really quick. You want to talk to your friends? Yes. Yeah, we about to watch Real Housewives of Potomac. I thought you wanted to talk to your friends. Papa. Huh? Papa. You want Paw Patrol? <laughs> You're so sweet. I am so full. On Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Look, it's like we the twins these two day, Mama. I love you. I love you. I'm not gonna say it. Y'all, my baby is so hairy. She got edges on her forehead going to her eyebrows. See, I still that precious baby. The only other person in our family that's hairy like this is my niece. <clears throat> Do you see Paw Patrol? There it goes. I just say in Spanish. Hold on. Papa. Pacho. This is Bubble Guppies. Do you want to watch this? Yeah, Bubble Puppies, oh. really? Great! Come on! Bubby. Bubby. <laughs> you still want to watch Paw Patrol? <laughs> it's coming on, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guys, the follow me, booty. What is on your butt? Is it oatmeal? Hey. Yeah. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I've been so productive today. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but I appreciate it. So y'all know one of y'all or several of y'all had told me about um, like an advent calendar or girl, I already have the advent calendar. I just never knew that's what it was called and that you're actually supposed to. I be having to sit y'all up here because Malia tries to steal the camera as y'all know. But anyways, I sat here and planned out what I'm gonna put in each one. So I'm planning on Okay, baby. I decided that there's certain days where I'm gonna do like a like a gift. So like lip well, I'm not gonna say what it is just in case I see this video. But um it's gonna be a gift, but the majority of them are gonna be like things that we're gonna do together. Um I'm excited. I think I'm gonna work out today. It's like whenever I eat right it makes me want to work out or if I work out, it makes me want to eat right. So as long as I'm doing one of those, the other one will follow. So yeah, we might kick off the new vlog with me working out. And then it starts a new month, the final month of the year. We're going to finish this out strong. Kimberly, Kimberly, I see you. I got you. She always holds me accountable without even being here. Being there, we're going to tell our friends bye and that we're going to see them in the next vlog. Hmm? Say, say, see you. Say bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye. Say love you. Hello. <laughs> you want my? Mwah. Mm -hmm.